we have a brand new update and uh look i changed my status because this is my question is this going to be real news or is this going to be fake information where we're just going to be led on to wednesday the 22nd and being delayed another week or two weeks or a month or to the next day 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 or the next day the next day the next day and 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 then the next day and then little do you know we're already going towards the end of 2022 going into 2023 so this is um basically the summer week first week of summer and i knew they were going to say something and they've been super quiet so it's time to read another details and i'm going to get ready to react and this information has not been posted on facebook yet so that's why i saw it first on their twitter page so i'm getting ready to play a different game i'm not playing just this game I just wanted to quickly just um, share. I'm not sure how I'm going, how long I'm going to go for this video. It's not going to be as long as the other one. I appreciate y'all for checking it out, and even though it was long, it, it just I, I just wanted to share some information. There's so much more that I can say about this game that I end up finding out as far as um, some information, some changes, and that they made towards the game and more, and just more lingering issues that people probably don't know about that haven't really played the game as long as I have because I played since the beginning. And this game was already having these issues already and more and being able to be removed from the place I just started. But let's just we'll, we'll just stop right there and just start reading the post for you guys here. And just as usual, just like I did from last time, I'm going to stay in this spot because I don't want to crash. I don't want to have to reload and start all over. So it's better safe It's safer in a personal space and to prevent crashes it's minimum crashes and loading loops and server queues that can randomly occur when you're trying to load up into a public space but let's read the post hi there nibblings we are completely ready to check this out we are completely ready to launch the steam version of nibbling rounds remaster this wednesday june 22nd at 10 a.m german time or 1 a.m pdt which is pacific i think isn't that specific if I'm not um, mistaken, it says the play. And then they said the PlayStation, it says PlayStation. Somebody typed too fast. It said PlayStation version. PlayStation version is going to come out later. So um, just to follow up, they came out with another follow up tweet. They said both versions are going to have some features switched off at launch, but we are going to reactivate them gradually as soon as we are sure the game itself and crossplay are working pro correctly. Let's read that again. Both versions are going to have some features switched off at launch, but we're going to reactivate them gradually, you know, just in a, as time goes on, as soon as we are sure the game itself and crossplay are working correctly. But when you read that, look at that last part. Listen to that. They're going to launch those features as soon as we're sure the game itself and crossplay are working correctly. So that means maybe is it going to be actually functional? It's probably going to have some problems. So people just getting on now trying to get excited. But it's just it has some missing features that's probably not going to work properly. And crossplay is not a day one. It's not necessary. Crossplay shouldn't even be part of the game in the first place because the game itself the base product for the game on ps4 that i'm playing on has a lot of problems those problems need to be addressed before even trying to expand to a whole new platform that you don't really have much supporters on you're you're expanding on a different platform and the other thing about it the killing part about it not only is it just a different platform from playstation from which you started on from which the developer started on for xyla studios you can't even transfer all your stuff that you have on the game. The, let's say you want to play. Well, I, I enjoyed the PlayStation for the PlayStation 4 version. I want to probably expand and probably check out the PC version. Everything that you have on the PlayStation version, you're going to have to buy all over again. So that's more money that you're going to have to spend. And you're just going to have to buy everything all over again. It's not going to be transferable. So uh, you might as well just stay on PlayStation. If you started on PlayStation, you might as well stay on this this particular version of the game, the PlayStation version of the game. And then that way you have everything that you have from personal spaces, clothes, local motions, and then some 
for your uh, gain to transfer. So something else to help you guys out, I did the calculations for the uh, the release date. So, so some of you guys might be curious, and if you guys have questions in the comments, I'll answer them. I already did the calculations as far as uh, 10 a.m. German time to EST to Eastern time. So if you're in Eastern time like me, that's going to be out. They're, they're planning to launch the Steam version of the um, Neville Rounds remake at 6 a.m. And if you're on Pacific time, that's going to be 3 a.m. And then if you're on Central, that 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 brings you back an hour. So that would be 2 a.m. Um, Central, 2 a.m. Central, 3 a.m. Well, 2 a, 2 a.m. Um, I'm missing up. So 6 a.m. Eastern and then 5 a.m. Central and then 3 a.m. Pacific. There you go. So three hours, it's a three hour difference with a specific time if you're on that time zone. And if you're on Central, you're an hour behind me. So that'll be 5 a.m. your time for that Wednesday and then 6 a.m. my time. But I have no interest in really playing it on there, you know, even though I could. But I just I'd rather just be able to keep all my stuff and I want to see how it runs on PlayStation. But I'm curious. My main question is, if they say it's going to come out later, is it going to be later in the week? What do they mean by that? And it's like. And the other thing I want to mention is that why would you come out with the QA process and send that in first for the Steam version when everybody on PlayStation have been waiting for so long? It's like, just like I was saying from my other video, it's like the main focus went into the PC version and that website and not even trying to address and better the, the roots of your product and the roots of your game that most people have been playing and putting putting money into it and continuously playing even with all the glitches and problems in the game they still continue to play and spend money on the game and buy these clothes and all the shops and all the things that they came out and participate in these events and participate in these um contests that they come out with but all that stuff like this is just the minimum minimum updates my battery is low for my controller but um all the minimal updates that they came out with, that could have been skipped. Y'all could have been working on just different, just the improving the game. If we didn't need some of these uh, these events from seasonal events that weren't actual events, you just log in and you get a new pair of clothes and you rock the new outfit and then you up out of there. There wasn't really any point in really trying to participate in these updates. So all that time that was wasted and those updates were never needed. So it's like a waste of an update. So I don't know how it's going to go, but I just have so many questions. Are they going to really be able to, is it actually going to be ready? Or is this just going to be something, just another unrealistic release date that they're just going to give to Steam players and play them. And then we're going to be played as well as far as the PlayStation users getting excited all over again. It's the same thing. It's deja vu over all over again. It's a brand new week and it's yet another Wednesday that's supposed to be the due date or the release date of this this update or this remake that we've been waiting so long for. I wish they would provide some details as far as the PlayStation. What's the status of that? It shouldn't take that long. It's been just as long as we've been waiting for the Steam version than it has been for PlayStation. And if they already got all these different issues that's not ready and just reading that part again, that last sentence from that follow up tweet. As, look, as soon as we sh we are sure the game itself and crossplay are working correctly, you're going to probably have some problems and they're probably going to have some setbacks where that crossplay is not going to run properly. And just like I said before, just to wrap up, the servers already have so much problems and can barely handle all the issues and the traffic of all these players coming in loading up the servers in the nexus every time you go there is a lot of people there in the dome just to name a few other spaces and maybe particularly potentially the beach or maybe leap park if you're lucky but the dome the nexus and the beach are the most populated places in the game and as far as other public spaces no one else goes there but the Nexus is always going to be populated and it has the high chance of crashes. All that stuff needs to be ready to go. All that stuff needs to be addressed before coming out with the games. So that's all I really wanted to say. I just want to update you guys. So just a recap. So 10 a.m. German time is 6 a.m. My time. If you're on Eastern, then it's going to be um, 6 a.m. Eastern. And then if you're on Central time, it'll be 5 a.m for you and then if you're on specific it'll be 3 a.m your time and let's just throw out the uk time 
you guys are probably like five or six hours ahead. That'll be 11 a.m. for you guys out in the UK. But if you guys need help with time zones, I'll be able to help you guys out in the comments and any other questions. But I'm looking forward to seeing how it runs on PlayStation. I really hope it runs well and it actually delivers. But I just see I just see it right now. Server problems, uh, 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 loads of server problems, server queues, loading loops, freezing and just all sorts of issues trying to get to a place and so much more. It's probably going to have so many problems. It's going to be remade. It's going to be it's going to look a little bit different. But I just see more potential issues coming out. Crossplay can wait. Come out with that later on in the year. If not later on in the year, come out with it next year and, and resolve the problems between both platforms. And me personally, if I was if I was making this game, I wouldn't focus on PlayStation. Make sure it runs well. Well, we got it ready on Nebula Rounds. We got Nebula Remake, the Nebula Remake running well on PlayStation. So now, and we address all the the critical issues and all the major things and problems that we had on the on the on the base product. Now it's time to expand. You don't expand too early when you have all of these different issues lingering, and you still have yet to bring back the pinball machines that still didn't get fixed missing features with the female avatars and they don't even have the same animations it's just it's just a mess right now so i just think it's probably going to be a mess when it comes out but i'll be very surprised if it runs well i'm definitely going to be testing it out but let me know what you guys think and uh, if you guys are going to be playing the steam version but i'm just going to wait for the playstation version maybe hopefully it'll come out later this week you know maybe that thursday or friday or something if they can get it together